Hello and assalamu alaikum guys welcome to this tutorial today we are going to be learning about variables what are variables well you may have heard in your class that x equals 25 it means x is assigned the value 25 or x contains the value 25 the variable is the x because it contains some value a variable doesn't mean that it is x or y or z it can be a combination of letters okay so first name is a variable and it contains the value Ali. So whenever I access first name, I actually access Ali. So basically it contains the name Ali. Well, it is hard to explain like that. Let me show you an example. So we have here dim x as integer means x is a variable and it will contain integer value. Integer value is what? We say integer is number. And we have dim name as string. And we say string is text. So x will have a value which will be a number and name will have a value which will be a text. So as you can see, x contains a value which is 25, which is a number, and name contains value which is Ali, which is a text. So whenever I, I print name, it will print Ali. It won't print this thing. It will print what it contains. Right? When I want to print x, I will say x, but it will print the value of x. Okay, as you can see, Ali. And if I print x, what will happen? It will print what? It will print 25. Isn't that great? Well, let us look at another example and I'll be creating it in front of you. So now everything is clear. Let us start with our example. I'm going to say it. Okay, now our program is ready and it says I have a variable called age and it will contain integer. I have a variable called first name and it, it will contain text and I have a variable last name and it will contain a string. So the way we are creating variables is called variable declaration. I have a variable age and it will contain whatever I input. I have a first name, it will contain whatever I input. I have a last name, it will contain whatever I input. I have a message box which will say first name and it will print first name which i input and it will create a new line and last name and it will put the last name which i input and it's gonna say age and it will print age that's all let us see age is like my age would be 20 first name would be ali last name is yasin so my first name is Ali, last name is Yasin, and age is 20. Well, this is called concatenation, means I am merging these two cells. Okay? I'm merging this text because it will be printed as it is. First name will be printed as it is. It's the say first name, then we'll give it space, and it's going to say after that, I will say first name. And this will first name will contain Ali, so it's going to say first name Ali. Then it's going to create a new line because VBCRLF means a new line. Then it will say last name and it will print my last name. Then it will say VBCRLF and it's going to say age. And it will, in space of this, it will print the value of age. That would be 20. I hope you understand because this is kind of little bit complex because we are getting into complex programming. And this is one of the complex things. So if you get this, I'll see you in the next drill. If you don't get this, please make sure to practice it and inshallah you'll get it. That's all. See ya.